everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today is Thursday um, and we've had a bit of a late start this morning, didn't we? We all slept in. Yeah? Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we had a bit of a late start and um, I've got an appointment to go to later so I just thought I'd bring Finny out for a little wander. Um, it's about, I don't know, 10 o'clock I think. Um, so we're out and we're just wandering around the green that's near our house basically. It's quite handy because um, it's like really close to the house. And, um, it's just a massive green basically. There's no park or anything in the actual estate that we live in. Um, but there's some nearby that we could walk to. But to be honest, he's quite happy just running around here. So. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to watch him run down the hill at the same time. He's just fallen over. Um, but he obviously is fine. He's just uh, running up and down the hill. Um, so yeah, we are just going to have a little bit of a wander. And then I'm going to go home and let Ryan sort Finley's lunch out and put him to down for a nap and I've got an appointment to go to but I also need to run to Aldi as well so I'm going to do the two at the same time and then today what else do I need to do today I think I'm going to go to B&M um, because we need some bits and pieces so I think I might come home this afternoon grab something to eat pick Finley up and then take him with me because I think Ryan's got some stuff to do so yeah that's the plan for today and I just thought I would take you along with us um but yeah for now we're just wondering aren't we Yee! yeah <laughs> i know you're having a nice time that we go home and he's run the opposite way so come on he's now just stood there laughing at me come on let's go we've been out for about half an hour so far so it's not too bad but i just got a few bits to get ready before i leave but he seems to be quite happy so we'll see uh how long it takes to get him back inside he is definitely an outdoors child he uh he quite happily plays at home and he'll play like independently or he'll want somebody to play with him um, but then after a certain time he's just a bit like okay I'm bored now um, and to be honest he probably gets that from me because I get really bad cabin fever Ryan would quite happily just chill in the house um, and me and Finley are the opposite we like to go out don't we and we like to go walking and we like to go exploring don't we ready let's go should we go home yeah? Come on then. What's up? Should we go find Daddy? Is Daddy at home? <gasps> What's that? <laughs> yeah? Come on then. Let's go. <laughs> So we're back indoors now. I managed to coax him back in the house, bless him. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for Ryan to get out of the shower and then I'm gonna head to Aldi and then to my appointment. Um, so yeah, I've just worked out that I think I'm gonna make a curry for dinner. Um, and I'm really trying to, what's the word? To learn to make curries. Don't eat that please, thank you. Um, 
trying to make curries from scratch so that you don't have to like, no thank you, take that out, thank you. Um, look, put it on here, look. There you go. Oh dear, what are you doing? Are you just laying on the floor, chilling out? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, what was I saying? Trying to make curry like from scratch, not using um, a jar. And I've seen a recipe um, from somebody on YouTube. I think her name's is Charlotte Louise Taylor. Um, I've recently subscribed to her and I really like her channel. Um, she's just, I don't know, she just seems like your everyday down to earth mum. Um, and I really enjoy her content at the moment. So I'm going to um, attempt to make one of the curries that she's made. Um, but I'll let you know how that goes. I'm going to adjust it because I think hers was just a sweet potato curry. Um, but I'm going to adjust it to chicken and sweet potato because I want to use up some of the chicken in the freezer. So. Yeah, and that is the plan. Um, I'm going to go to Aldi, go to my appointment, come home, get Finley. Oh, thank you. Oh, is that your Tesco truck? Finley got this Tesco truck for Christmas. And then, like, little baskets go in that blue section there. I don't know if there's any in there, I can take them out. Um, Oh yeah, look, there's some in there. I absolutely bloody loves it. Like of all the things that you got for Christmas, this is one of his favourites. Um, but it flies along the floor when you push the button, and I mean like, it flies. Take your ankle out, flies. Um, yeah, he thinks it's great. Is that one? No? Okay. Um, yeah, come on. Goodness gracious, this conversation is really dis disjointed. Um, but yeah, come home and then grab Finley because he should be up from his nap by then and then head to B&M. I'm actually going to go to one that um, is not the one I normally go to because the one I normally go to is a decent size but the other one is massive um, and to be honest I just fancy looking around somewhere different to be honest. I need to get some bits and there's a good chance that it's more likely to get them in the big one than in the small one. Um, and I think, I may need to check this, but I think the uh, the big one is actually closer to where we live now because we've moved house. So I'm still trying to work out like where the nearest things are. It's either the same distance or it's closer. Um, and I've been going to the other one because I'm not familiar with going like in the opposite direction basically. That's a really poor excuse, but yeah, I'm still getting used to the area and where everything is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, and yeah, that's that's probably our day sort of planned out really, and then it'll be home for dinner and bath time and things like that. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would check in. Um, I'm quite enjoying sort of vlogging again, and I've got a couple of ideas of things that I want to film. I'm gonna film some, what's the word, some meal, planning videos, some batch cooking, um, some vlogs, some, um, what are they called? Food shop hauls, <laughs> things like that. Um, and yeah, just a few bits and pieces that like I enjoy watching. Um, I know it's not for everybody, but you know, I quite enjoy, what's the word? Like meal planning and trying to save money and what? things like that. Cause I feel like when you break down your bills, and you look at your budget, um, the only place that like we can really cut back on things is food. Um, and to be honest, when we had a look at it, it was it was kind of what I expected that we were spending on food. This is a really big tangent. I don't even know how I got onto this conversation, but basically we had a look at like our budget um, since moving house and things like that. And what I thought we were spending is kind of what, what we were spending so that's a good sign um however i don't think we're getting the most from money if that makes sense um and i think that means maybe just like rejigging a few things being a little bit more organized um what's the word um and perhaps just I don't know, yeah, just being more organised, yeah. I guess. And I do really want to cut back on our food wastage. It's something that I really tried to do last year. And we did have, 
like some t sometimes where we did have more food wastage than I would have liked um but I'm really trying to make the most of everything at the moment and use everything up so that we don't waste anything because that really really gets on my wick um is paying all this money for food and then having wastage so do you want it taken out oh there you go this also got this really cute wooden um what's the word tool set that my mum bought him um I think it's from john lewis that was like pre-covid i think hey eh? when we could go out and we could go to john lewis you want to sit in there um so yeah i thought i would just oh dear film some videos and take you along that journey because i'm sure everybody wants to save money on food shopping um and to be honest if we could save money then that's great um if we don't but we get more for our money um then that's that's kind of what i'm looking for um i just yeah i just think we need to look be a little bit more organized so yeah that is the plan um, yeah i've also decided that like in the new year i had these great plans for like decluttering the house deep cleaning everything getting really organized just to make my life so much easier um and then i went back to work after christmas is that really good do you like that one um yeah i went back to work after christmas and i'd had some medical leave um for something that i will talk about at another point um because I think it probably was a video on its own, to be honest. But yeah, I was on extended medical leave for a little while. Um, and I went back to work. And I just, I didn't, I don't know. Like, it was good to get back to work. And I love my job. But it was just a hard work trying to adjust going back to work. And like, the Christmas blues. And being back in lockdown. And yeah, and I just feel like January's passed. And we haven't really done anything. Um... I think part of that is obviously being in lockdown as well. I don't really feel like I've done much during January. So my goal for February is to get yeah, more organised um, in so many different ways. Like I've got loads of ideas of things I want to do. Um, but first of all, it's going to be a huge declutter, I think. And then obviously just organising and just, what's the word, being... I don't know, I just feel like if I was more organised, then it would make my weeks a lot easier um because Ryan works shifts and so we cross over a lot of the time um and it means that I normally have to be for around five days on my own by the time he finishes his last shift yeah we have about five days don't we and sometimes depending on the way the shifts fall I work for three of those days as well so trying to work for like do my job um and look after Finley as well it can be quite chaotic I suppose um and I suppose everybody's in that position so or a lot of people are in that position um but yeah I thought that I would take you along that journey too <laughs> of trying to get more organized and make things easier for myself um or easier for us as a family hey. anyway this I, I just sat down to tell you what we were going to be doing for the day um, and I've ended up going off on a massive tangent so I'm going to leave it here because I think I've been filming for like 10 minutes already um, but yeah I'm going to head to that was the kitchen food coming out of the kitchen um, on that note it's my cue to leave and leave daddy to sort out the chaos holy moly it's cold um, I've just finished in Aldi and I've been to my appointment um, and yeah it's very cold and wet outside um, but yeah I'm now gonna head home I got a few bits in Aldi um, so I'll show you what I picked up I didn't pick up too much um, and stupidly I forgot the one thing I actually went in for so that was great um, but yeah I'm now gonna head home it's about one o'clock so Finny will be asleep by now um, but yeah I'm gonna go home get him when he wakes up and then head to b and I guess and get the other bits that we needed um, so yeah. I thought I'd show you quickly what I picked up in Aldi um, so I picked up some of these uh, cornflake clusters because I'm obsessed with these at the moment 
um, I picked up two of these kits. I know I said earlier I'm trying to do everything from scratch, but you know, sometimes they don't come out great. So <laughs> these are another option. I bought up a Thai, picked up a Thai red curry and a pad Thai kit to try. Um, until I nail a recipe, I was gonna try these little bits and pieces. Um, some salted caramel and chocolate hot cross buns. Um, my mum would love them, I think. Um, some rigatoni pasta. I really fancy some macaroni cheese, like really indulgent, carb, full, garlic bread, mac and cheese with bacon in it. That's what I really want. So, oh, some of that. Um, I picked up two things of strawberries because we didn't get any strawberries delivered with our Tesco food shop because apparently they don't have any. Um, I also picked up one of these each for Ryan and myself and it is the pretzel, can you see that? The pretzel chocolate and it is really good. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, I picked up one of these um, and it's just a lunch box but it has like all different sections and stuff in it, like bits that lift out um, and a little tub. Um, and I thought this would be perfect for Finley for when we go out and about, um, for me to put his lunch in or for, I say out and about, um, we don't really go very far these days with lockdown, but you know, you live in hope. Um, but also it's sometimes nice to give him something a bit different to eat out of. So the other week we had like a picnic on the carpet, um, or not on the carpet, what am I on about? A picnic in the living room on a blanket um, so you know I could use it for that um, and I was more sort of thinking ahead maybe closer to the summer when we're out and about more um, and yeah last time that lockdown eve we were allowed to go to classes um, and I had to take his lunch with me so that he could have it as soon as this class finished so yeah I picked up one of them I got you a present thanks and I picked up these because these are the biodegradable um, water wipes that are meant to be that was biodegradable baby wipes that are meant to be like water wipes. Um, we've tried the Aldi nappies before and they weren't for us. Um, I know loads of people rave about them, um, but they just, we bought a big box and I think we ended up giving most of them away because they just, they just didn't work for us. So we've been using water wipes basically ever since Finney was born. Um, so yeah, I thought we'd give these as both because they're only like 60p a packet um, and they're biodegradable. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then I saw these in the middle aisle. Um, and it's the Honey and Nectarine Rediffuser. Um, and I don't know where I think we're going to put this. I don't know such whether to put it in our living room, whether to put it in our bedroom. I don't know. But I also bought the candle as well. And I think they were about $3.99 each. So yeah. Um, that is everything. I just need to put it all away. Um, and then I'm going to make us both a cup of tea. Because um, if we need to still asleep. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make the most of the peace and quiet. Grab a cup of tea and something to eat. And then get him ready to pop to B&M's. Um, I feel like I've not stopped today. Right, so we have just been into B&M's um, and I forgot how big it is. It's absolutely huge. I'll try and show you in a minute how big it is. Um, and I think, like I said earlier, it's actually the same distance as the other one. So I'll be coming here in the future. Oh yeah, what is it? Right, so I thought I'd show you what I got in B&M's. Um, first of all, I picked up this there we go okay so yeah i picked that up for my mum i think it was about one pound something um i bought one of these to try because everyone's raving about them and i wondered if they'd be any good on bedding maybe because yeah. Yeah. who has the time to iron bedding not me um but also the creases really irritate me so yeah i also bought this um i saw somebody on instagram bought these in b and m and yeah. these are the ones we use um, I personally can tell a difference between cheap, I say cheap, cheaper, um, 
dishwasher tablets and then like ones like these um and we normally get them in costco and we buy them in big bags when they're on offer but i wanted a like a, a plastic tub so that they're a bit easier to store in the cupboard so yeah i can get one of those and i think they were 8.99 And they're in the scent wild rhubarb to give them a go. Um, bin liners because Ryan wanted bin liners. What's that thingy? Can I come up? Yeah, come on. What else did we get? I bought a disinfectant spray in wild rhubarb um, again to try that. Um, you can use it on sofas, on bins, toilets, door handles, all things like that. So it's quite handy to have. Um, I picked up one of these to try because everyone is raving about these as well and I think they were on offer. Um, so yeah, I've got one of them. And then, what else? Some garlic mayo because I really fancied some garlic mayo. Um, one of these rapeseed um, fry lights because I thought it would be good to try fry light. Um, I see loads of people use it. So I give that a go. And then this is what I actually really wanted that I can never find in um, my b &M. So it's the Osmo fridge and microwave cleaner because I wanted to give our fridge a really good, um, really good clean out and organize it. So yeah, I got one of those. And I think that, yeah, I think that was everything. So now, what we're gonna do now? Yeah. We're gonna play. We're gonna put the washing away that's in there because that's getting on my nerves. And then we're gonna make dinner. You, you like that idea? Um, right, so we have just had dinner and I didn't even film it because I was trying to um, make my own curry paste and I was trying to have a conversation with my mum on the phone at the same time and it just wasn't working so but yeah I made curry and I'm quite impressed actually with the recipe um, I don't think I would really change anything about it so what I'll do is maybe include it in a recipe video sometime soon I wanted to test it out before I shared it um, but yeah it was really good so I've done that we've cleared up Finny's just watching a little bit of TV while we cleared up because it's been day tomorrow as well so I've been trying to get I think Ryan's just taking the, the rubbish out now so yeah that's that's us we've just sort of managed to tidy up a little bit not a lot but it's it's not too bad <laughs> um but yeah I'm gonna take Finley upstairs now I've got all his pajamas ready I've got his clothes ready for tomorrow the bath is run um what time is it we're coming up for quarter past six normally he gets in about half past so yeah he's just chilling out at the moment aren't ya? we've really cut down his tv time lately because i found that during lockdown he was watching way too much tv um and yeah we've managed to cut it down quite a bit so it means that when he does watch it he's just mesmerized and i know he will sit there for you know 10-15 minutes and watch something so use that opportunity to clear up basically um but yeah anyway i'm rambling now so i'm gonna go in get finley ready for bed um bath him and get him into bed and then i think i might have a bath actually because, because I... okay guys um as you can tell it's a bit later now <laughs> i've been in the bath and um we sat and watched bridgerton um in fact, I think we watched like the last two episodes and I'm absolutely gutted it's finished. I can't wait for the next one. Um, it's not something that I actually thought I'd like watching, but yeah, I've actually really enjoyed watching it. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to the next one. So yeah, that's, um, what's the word? That's my exciting news for the evening. The other exciting news is, is I knew who Lady Whistledown was from like episode two or three <laughs> um i managed to work it out and i was right so i was very impressed with my uh, detective skills but yeah um i'm gonna get into bed now as you can tell i'm already in bed um the light in here is so harsh we really need to get um new bedside tables and lamps and stuff like that but 
we just haven't found what we're looking for yet. So in the meantime, we have our lovely new bed and no no bits to go with it. But that's a story for another day. Um but yeah, I'm gonna leave it here guys and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.